Af African people from the West to Africa is inevitable, is a must. It takes time. Because what we learn in, in Babylon is different from what Africa is and how African people are. Yeah? What Africa is in us is deep down as people who were born in Babylon. Repatriation is a must and it takes time. Where we have to unite. Africa would have to unite economically first. We have to unite socially first. And we have to have 100% education or somewhat of an education that can be a part of the world. So then with that, people in Africa would realize or come to a realization, realization that their brothers and sisters were taken from Africa by force. To go to Babylon, to build Babylon, everything that is in Babylon was built by our labor and by our mineral. <coughs> yeah? So, with this time is a process and it's going to take years, years. You may call it hundreds of years. Because right now, Africa is on the move and the uprising for taking back what is rightfully African people and living as African again together you know what I mean so all this is the process of repatriation yeah it's a process a process indeed like you say so now uh, me like, oh. what do you think is the reason there is not a lot of development in Africa the main reason is the colonial master the main reason you can call it the only reason the system that is created in Africa or in African countries were created by colonial people from Europe that came here years ago, hundreds of years ago. So, this system in Africa is not benefiting to African people or the people in any African country. The leaders that are here in Africa that is in power, everything is pass from the colonial country through them to reach the people right but the system that these men and women are administrating is not made for african people so that would inevitably obviously mean that there will always be upheaval in africa between leadership and people of the nation because of the system that is created by Europeans to govern African people. Mm -hmm. It's not created for our benefit. Mm -hmm. So what is the way forward in, in your philosophy? First and foremost, unity is strength. So then, African nations should first unite. And in that unity, we will realize that we are one, at home and abroad. Yeah? And then we, we can speak with one action with one word and we can act with one action and with that we can achieve any goal mm. fantastic stuff now but lastly uh, in, in zimbabwe and uh, parts of southern africa there has been some land reform where the people are taking the land from the white people uh, most of the white men uh, occupied the bigger parts the very few white men occupying the bigger parts of land and uh, what's your take on the issue of land reform land reform I think um, Africans are rightfully owners of the land of Africa. And then people from across the world, I think as far as I, am, I see, own the land in Africa. And this is why they have these huge farms and these huge mines that is owned by people from outside of Africa. So then, as we are more educated, as we are more aware, as we are more informed, it is only normal for the African people in Africa to want to own what is rightfully theirs. No rocket science, it's normal. It's mine, I want it. So then, reform is a must, just as reparation and repatriation. Is a must. It's, it only takes um, proper negotiation for it to go peacefully. 
and this is what Africa need peaceful negotiation. Yeah, because we are educated, so we know how to negotiate, mm -hmm. right? Negotiate, right? Mm -hmm. And in, and it takes time. It's not going to yes, we're going to need and tomorrow it up. You know? Cannot work like that. Take time. Brain against brain. Then it works. And it works. Fantastic. It time. cannot be physical because that was that's what they did. And it was wrong. So we can't do the right thing the wrong way. So we have to talk until it's over because it's rightfully mindset always going to swing on my side. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Um, then in conclusion, uh, Loot and Fire, it's been a pleasure to be with you on, on our reggae show, Sunday reggae show. What's your final message to the people of Zimbabwe and the to Loot and Fire fans? Well, um, for my people that love Loot and know Loot and Fire music, in Zimbabwe, I would want you all to come out tomorrow evening, yeah, at the HICC, to have a, you know, come have a show with Lutan, for we're all going to do the show together. Just come forward and full joy yourself, yes, give thanks. And for Zimbabwe, unity is strength. And for Zimbabwe to move forward, we have to find a common goal, unite, unite, find a common goal, and work towards that common goal. Thanks for joining us on Classic Sports Loot and Fire. Enough respect. God bless. Rastafari.